They're everywhere, and they're getting really loud. I'm talking about cicadas. These little buggers can get up to 100 decibels when they're singing in unison. That's as loud as a low-flying airplane. <laughs> Annoying, for sure, but nothing to worry about if you're flying a drone, right? Well, I'm not too sure about that. It begs to reason that if a small bird can take down a big airplane, then maybe a cicada can take out my drone. The first thing to remember is that a cicada is not a locust. They don't swarm and they don't fly long distances. They've got crappy little rings that barely get them from tree to tree. So it stands to reason that the only time you really need to worry about these things is when you're launching and recovering, right? Well, not so fast. One of the ways to get a great drone shot is to get close to your subject and have lots of foreground. Unfortunately for us, that's where the cicadas like to hang out, in bushes and on trees, and close to the flight path of our drones. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. Overcrank with a high frame rate, and you might get some great slow-mo shots of these bugs flying by. Chances are they won't hit your lens, and they shouldn't foul your props. Most drones have no intake ports to get sucked into like a jet would. The cooling ports are usually passive, meaning that the drone must be moving in order to get air across the heat sink and cool the drone. So all in all, you probably don't have a whole lot to worry about when it comes to a cicada crashing your drone. But if you're skittish about the red-eyed, alien-looking bugs, you may want to consider a cicada wrangler to keep things out of your face while you're flying. I'm Mike Cibola. Fly safe.